Hello, I'm here talking with Andy from Ultrasock. Andy, thank you so much for taking some time with us today. And tell me a little bit about Ultrasock and your involvement in RISC V. It's good to see you, Callista. Well, Ultrasock's been involved with RISC V for a very long time now. We've been involved with the process of trace aspects, so very technical aspects, lots of hard work going into that. What we have is on-chip analytics technology, which monitors what the device is doing in real time and in real life to really allow the engineer to do a much better job and get their application working. So on-chip analytics, why is that important across the spectrum of implementations that we have? It's important for, from a lot of aspects. So you know, we have customers maybe in the storage area where they really have to understand exactly what the chip is doing on a cycle by cycle basis, not only in the lab so that they can produce the very best product they possibly can on day one of launch, but also later on in the field when they're watching it working in real life and optimizing it on a day-to-day -day basis. So these analytics feed into immediate information that can be useful as well as perhaps longer term strategy. Absolutely, yes. So there's, there's a, obviously there's a feedback loop. If you know what the device is doing in real life, then in future designs, you can certainly optimize what you do for your next generation products. And, and how has your experience been in sort of cultivating open uh, tools and resources that can be used more broadly in the industry? Well, you, you know, any industry body like the Risk V Foundation, there's a lot of hard work involved. People don't sometimes appreciate just how much goes into this. And so, you know, the collaboration with the other members that we've come across has been very valuable to us. And really lots of hard work has gone into maybe sometimes the, the, uh, the pace of news announcements may seem to the outside world a little bit slow. But there's so much going on behind the scenes, both technical work and marketing work, that we, you know, we're really impressed with the way we've been able to collaborate with other companies. Yes, and Ultrasoc is a thought leader in this space, and I'm sure that the uh, collaboration has even more enriched your team and the engineering that goes into the, the verification and the trace aspects of this technology. You're shoulder to shoulder with other thought leaders in this space, and we really appreciate that leadership that you've brought. Thanks. Uh, so you're moving into additional technical aspects now and moving forward from Trace. And congratulations to you as well as the rest of the team on getting that through and ratified. These are so valuable to our entire community. Uh, so what lies ahead? Do you see continuing to work on Trace or are we moving into a, other adjacent technology? I think we're definitely moving into other adjacent technologies. I mean, you know better than anyone, but we've had some organizational changes at the foundation. I think we're much better set up now to kind of get those, those further technical developments through. So, you know, I think the work continues. Um, a lot of it is very detailed and technical, and I'm not even going to pretend to know that I, under, pretend that I understand all of it. But, um, yeah, there's lots more hard work ahead. Yes, we've got about 25 different technical groups in motion, mm -hmm. and it has been so important and so valuable to have your contributions to instilling discipline and how we bring those groups through the process from idea to fruition. So thank you so much and really appreciate all the hard work from Ultrasock and your leadership in this space. So thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.